Hello, this is Hunter, and I have an instructional video to, for how to use SketchUp. So first, you want to start out with the base of your room. Make it just an estimated of, I want my room to be 20 by 20. So that's just an estimate. Now, if you look in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see the measurements. I got 20 and then I can type in my desired measurement and there's a that's how you have to do it you can't say 20 by 20 it has to be 20 upper I don't know what that's called upper comma and then space comma 20 upper comma and then you press enter and it goes to your desired um, amount the your desired feet then after that you make another wall. First you gotta get it to know that you want it to stand up. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll just make another layer over it. And then I'll use this tool. It's called the I think it's called the offset. It's up here. I don't know if you can see it. It's the one that's highlighted. Oh no, sorry, it's called the push and pull. And you can put this up. And that's how you make the height of your room without having to make every wall. Then I can, now I want pretty high ceiling, so I'm going to type in Ten, and then if you want feet, you're gonna have to shift, and then it's gonna be three commas above it, and then enter, and that's ten feet. Now, say you want a door, which I think you probably need a door. You go, I didn't show you where that was. Now that you have this, I'll figure it out. Go to, darn, didn't even, go right here. It says get models to box with the arrow pointing down. Click on it, type in door. And it'll pull up doors. Okay, I want this door. You'll click on it. It'll show you the size that you'll get. Download model. Okay. Now it's gonna stay right here. Now Um, you're going to move your door. If you want to rotate it, press the circle right up here. You're going to place it on it. Put it at the base to make sure it... Then you're going to turn it around, click, and then the second time you turn it, it goes the way you want it to go. Now I want it like that. Now I go back to the move button, which is right next to the push and pull button. And I move that into the wall so that it's touching the wall, but it's not in the wall. Okay, so now I have the door. Now I want a window, so I'm going to go here, window, this one looks good, I want a pretty small window, 
and it opens up. I like that. Alright. And I got it. Is that right there? Actually, you might be able to rotate it. No, you can't. Press the rotate button and do the same thing that you did with the door. You'll see the angle in, right here in this corner, so you'll know exact, if it's exactly 90 degrees, which is very nice to have. Then you can move it to your desired area. I actually seem to be having a little bit of trouble. I want it about right there. And now I'm gonna move. That looks pretty good, I think. I like that. So now you have a window. If you want to check how, out how it is, press this little swirly button. It's called the orb. If you go towards it, it'll say orbit under it. And you can look around. Make sure it's in the wall. Make sure your door's in the wall. Now, I probably want to put some stuff inside if you get this far yet. So, now I put, press on the hand to move me to right here. If you want to go out, zoom out and in. Down is out, up is in. It's pretty easy. Now, I go to the arrow button 